Hi, I'm Don Barnetson. I'm responsible for our cable products at Credo. Credo has a family of high wire active electrical cables, and I'm standing in front of a 96 terabit DDC router. So this is a distributed disaggregated chassis that we built with our friends at UfiSpace, DriveNets, and Keysight. The key difference between chassis and DDCs is the way the interconnect is routed. A chassis has a circuit board on the back of the chassis. A DDC uses cables on the front plane for interconnect. The challenge is traditional cables aren't up to the task. DACs are way too thick to route at this density. This is a bundle of eight 400 gig DACs. You can see even if I really put the hurt on this, this is the best I can do. Eight cables are like Cat5 cables. We can bend these and twist these any way that's needed in order to route at these very high densities. Optics are way too much power and cost. So we introduced the Highwire Claw AEC specifically for this. It has 75% less power than optics and 75% less volume than DACs. Another important thing to consider about is how you're routing these cables inside of the DDC. Traditional routing would have the cables go all the way up to a tray and across and over. That makes the cable lengths really unnecessarily long and in copper, power and cost are proportional to length. In this case, we've done a lateral cable routing, something we borrowed from Google, which we call HPC routing. We've routed these cables directly across the chassis through this cable manager. Up top, we have an Ixia Ares 1, which is stimulating this cluster. And so in this case, we have one of our five meter span cables that's connecting this 400 gig port to this 400 gig port on this side. And on the other side, we have one of our shift cables. So this shift cable is doing a PAM port to NRZ transition that's taking this 400 gig port here to the four 100 gig ports you see on the far side. This forms a medium cluster. At some point in the future, hopefully you'll see a large one. Should be twice as impressive as this one. Thanks so much.